I don't know about you, but I've been experiencing some bugs in Armory Crate and the Command Center as well. Aces have fixed it in the most latest update. So out of nowhere, I was noticing that the control switcher in the Command Center just started becoming unresponsive and I'm not too sure when that happened. I just noticed like, why is this so delayed now? And everything just felt a little bit slow, even like navigating through Armory Crate when you press like the L and R bumpers to change tabs. It just seemed really slow. And obviously we all know that we have to wait for that animation logo to pop up and, you know, show when you're opening Armory Crate for the first time or if you've shut it and then opening it up again, all of that is fixed. So looking at the change log from Asus on their forums, this is the October update that happened on Tuesday the 15th, and this affects both the Ally and the Ally X. I really like looking at these change logs, and I'd advise that you do so as well. But this is for ACSE, so Armory Crate SE 1.5.20. So we've got a bug fix, which says that we fixed occasional crashes in Armory Crate SE and Command Center. I definitely noticed that just out of nowhere, like it just kind of froze or like closed itself. I was like, what? So that's fixed. Bug fix enhanced responsiveness when switching control mode in the command center. Yes, this was my number one nuisance because I actually manually go in there quite a lot. I mostly leave it on auto, even though originally I didn't like auto. Now I've kind of got the hang of it and I leave it on auto quite a lot. But if I open Steam, even if it's not in big picture mode, it goes, oh, you're using a controller and that annoys me. So I manually go and change it to like desktop mode or whatever. But yeah, anyway, this has fixed that responsiveness and I've been testing it and it's working perfectly. Bug fix resolved an issue where the embedded controller option occasionally disappeared in the command center. Now I've actually had this with AFMF as well. So this happened to me a while ago and AFMF just disappeared from my command center. And I even emailed Asus and said, does that mean we're getting native AFMF too, like coming soon? And they just like, were like, you know, you just heard crickets because they probably didn't know what I was talking about because AFMF2 was literally just released. And then I had this like coincidental bug where AFMF disappeared. I thought it was linked, but no, it was just buggy software. <laughs> but this is saying specifically that it resolves an issue where embedded controller disappears. I haven't tested it enough to see if it happens with anything else that disappears. Maybe this fixes all of it. Bug fix resolved an issue where the lighting effects occasionally disappeared on the lighting page. I have noticed this, but I mainly have my RGB LEDs off. I just, just, don't, just you know, I just turn them off. I don't care. You know, give me a bit extra battery life. When I'm filming a video, I normally stick them on because they look cool, right? But <laughs> if you do use it, well, then it's fixed. And now we're on to the good stuff, which isn't just bug fixes. So we've got an enhancement, improved Armory Crate startup speed. So it's faster. And now this is the best one. This is the number one thing that we want, right? And we've all been asking for. Enhancement added an option to toggle the startup animation on, or get this, off. Finally. So we can just turn it off. So it feels like it loads faster. I feel like it's starting up quicker now. So I'm just going to you know, pretend it is. And another unexpected one is actually enhancement improved the joystick calibration process. Now I went through and redid this. And what I noticed is that it wants to find a center point. So basically it starts off with instead of before where you would choose, oh yeah, go left, go up, go down, go right, you know, and check it that way before you enter it. Now, when you enter it, it says, where's your like center point for the stick? So you let go of the stick and press A and that will say, okay, like if you're slightly off, I'm guessing it will just say, okay, actually it's in the center from that point from now, if that makes sense. So yeah, improved joystick calibration process. That's cool. You know, I'd advise that you probably turn off that animation on Armory Crate and also do the joystick calibration again as well, because you know, why not? But that's not all. We also had an additional thing added to this changelog. This wasn't on here originally, but now it's been added. And there's a new MCU 313 update through the Armory, through the Asus official website. So you've actually got to go on to like the support panel for the Ally or Ally X. This is specifically on the Ally X, but it's a, a bug fix, which fixes an issue where the device may continuously vibrate when caps lock is enabled. And funnily enough, I saw one very specific person showing this on Reddit, where they said, look at this weird bug that I found. And it, I haven't seen anyone talk about it whatsoever other than that one person. So maybe they're the cause of this 
fix. That would be cool if Aces are watching that closely, you know. But yeah, I have never encountered that issue, but I still installed this update, you know, anyway. So yeah, you can find that on the actual website. And if you're on the normal ally, I won't disclude you, not include you. What you I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever. If you've got an original ally, then you've got MCU319 on in yellow delayed. So I guess it's not coming out yet. Uh, through Armory Crate SE and Aces official website, bug fix fixed an issue where the power LED might turn off after updating the MCU firmware. And then we've got an a audio driver delayed update as well through the Armory Crate SE and website, which says bug fix solved an issue with inconsistent sound recording volume. And that is all of the updates there. Now, if you want to know how to install these updates, well then just update Armory Crate. You know, go into Armory Crate, go to updates, check there, or go to my Asus and check there as well. I'd always recommend that you go to Microsoft Store, check for updates there as well, and do Windows updates. Probably don't go for those additional Windows updates, you know, the optional ones, because they're a bit more like beta, so you might end up getting bugs and stuff. There's been one recently, but yeah. So just do it through that, and if you want those MCU updates, if you're finding an issue with the, uh, the vibration and the capsule being enabled well then you have to go through to the actual you know asus page i'll have all the links down in the description anyway so that you can see all this stuff and yeah let me know your thoughts using it my thoughts are this is great like it feels way more responsive super snappy really really happy that they did that because this was the thing that was kind of bugging me <laughs> was the bugs within armory crate and it was only minor and i could get around it but you know i'm just glad that they're continuously throwing updates our way it's awesome news for the ally and ally x community let me know your thoughts down in the description. In the description? In the comments. Come on. Well, if you can get in the descriptions, then you know, leave me something there for me to find. <laughs> but yeah, whilst you're down there, like this video, subscribe, become a member, and you can see these videos early and talk to me and AJ over in our private Discord. And talking of AJ, check out our podcast where we talk about all things gaming and a lot about the Ally X as well. So uh, head over there and check that out as well. Bye.